Good everyone, oh, good day's video. Today we have a Talism series drive out in the Tetrarch Mark 1. We're actually starting with the Brits for once with the tanks. It's been a while because we've had obviously to go through US, Germany, which had quite a few, Russians, which didn't have many, and now we're finally at the British, which we are, we don't have many in here, but the ones we do have, I'm sure, will be some fan favourites, except this one maybe. So in the British Tank Talisman series, you can look forward to the Tetrarch Mark 1, the A13 Mark 2, the Daimler AC Mark 2, the Crusader 2 II and 3, and also one of my new favourite tanks, the Churchill Mark 1. Quite a good few choices if I do say so myself. So the Tetrarch is a very interesting tank in the fact that this thing was designed to come out of a glider, and, well, they... Paid a few things to get it in there is all I'll say. This tank has barely any armour, which to be honest is commonplace for British cruiser tanks. It has a great gun, good mobility, and well, it's got smoke. So it's actually one of the few reserve tanks to actually have smoke, which is very handy to have. Now sure, that doesn't make it the world's greatest tank, but even so, it's still something to consider. And obviously with our lackluster turret drive, we're going to kind of need that smoke if we need to get out of a bad situation. Now, sure, we do have the other tanks to look forward to. But for the purpose of this video, we're not going to be using them. Because, well, I do not want to fight something like a Panzer IV in a damn Tetra. Like, I just don't want to do that because, well, that would be rather uncomfortable. So I'm just assembling a basic lineup as I usually do. I have got an ace crew on this vehicle because I had a spare bit of GE laying around. Not not the GE I have up there, that's for the sale. Um, this was a while back. I did it for the T60 as well. This puts our reload at 2.8 seconds, which is basically a machine gun in comparison to the majority that it faces. And with the great penetration on the two-pounder, we'll have a good time with this, I think. Now to back us up, I've selected the A13 Mark II. Sorry, Mark 1, because I, I don't know why I said Mark 2. The AA Mark 1, which is the Vickers-based anti-aircraft. And purely for the memes, I'm bringing along the Nimrod, because, well, Harry still has, hasn't done my combo yet on it. Which is our final peace trip, or our final bad combo request before our peace treaty takes into effect. Well, his part of the bargain. So, let's get into it. Now this isn't the first time I've done the Tetrock on the channel. Harry wanted to see me try and burn, which, well he saw in one area that I did burn, that was actually the swordfish, not the tank. I quite like the Tetrarch. To some of you that may be a bit of a shock, but it's the fact that this tank is just unique, it's so small, you can park it in most locations. And even though it's got a bad turret traverse, it works, I've got to say that. But since we're probably going to get yeeted by 20mm spam in the next 5 minutes, I'll see you all in the first batch. Never mind. <laughs> right as I fucking finish my sentence. <laughs> oh, Gaijin. Oh, Gaijin. Well, we're on the wrong side for a start. Well, I mean, we're not Italian, so we're not going to complain about it. So, that, that's always positive. I mean, that does mean I don't have to like cut out parts where I just say see you on the first battle because now I don't have to even say that because well Gaijin decided to do it for me so that's right do I have any backups no I don't that's annoying but yeah well I mean we're probably not going to survive long anyway let's roll now you do have the steering problem with the A13s with this tank but to be fair, I can deal with it. We're not really going to be steering too much anyway, because we're going to be going to one of my favourite spots. So to get there, we're going to have to be a little dirty. And I mean dirty. What are you shooting at? Oh, someone I just heard a gun going off. Yep, over there, over there. SU-5 and a Kenny. A little bit high. And that one did it. Alright, can I kill you yet? Yes I can. 
I will admit, I'm spawn camping a little bit here. Oh shit, you might have seen us. Um, that's the problem. Don't really want to engage that yet. That's an SU-5. It's going to back us up a little bit. Oh, I'm being straight by something. An angry J8A player. Of course. Except one of their mothers is spamming those things. Because we have good they are ground forces at low tier. We might have to go AA mode to try and shoot that thing down. Use the tree, use the tree! Oh no! Yep, we're probably screwed here, I'm gonna dump smoke. I don't really want to have to drop smoke, but unfortunately we might not have a choice. There he is. Uh, it's not a JDA, it's a J6B, I said corrected. We have got good, good gun elevation, so we might be able to hit him with a two pounder shell, which would be nice. Okay, this is going to be a problem, because that guy knows where we are now. Gun depression. I'm going to have to move up a little bit further than I want to, but that's okay. Bush is in my way a little bit. I know I did that, there's a tank to my left! That was quick. I only just managed to pull that off. That was luck. Where's that SU-5 gone? That thing doesn't move very fast. I think he's been engaged. No, there he is. That's BT. We'll turn to wait for him. That's him gone. I'll go for a... Engine shot? What the fuck was that? Oh no, that's 20 mil. I need to back up. I can't sit here now. Been engaged by 20 mil fire. Now we're going to try something cheeky here. I'll go for the driver. Never mind. The gunner sits on the right of that thing. Yeah, well, that'll do. Kill number five. I just want to know what was engaging us for that 20 mil. I think we have our answer. Nope, nope, go away. That was quicker. Nope, go away. We have to move. These bloody Swedish planes, I swear they need their belt nerf. Like, seriously, there is no way an 8mm cartridge can penetrate that much. No, 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 no. I sound like fucking Cleveland. If you don't know what I'm on about, just go watch a bit of Family Guy. No, 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 no! Will you piss off already? You're like a fucking cockroach! You don't piss off until you get the slipper! Ow! Th this guy's got a severe problem with me. Uh, did I piss in your cereal? Did I shoot your dog or something? Like, come on, man. That's what you get, you little shit. Jesus. Oh no, beat it, yep. <laughs> Far too late for that. Oh. I love how he's still shooting my dead body. I saw that muzzle flash. Okay, Um. what next? Well, the team seems to be doing pretty okay on the ground. I'll take the Nimrod. Which, Harry, you need to get on this. Independent and Nimrod, don't forget it. I'm not going to let it slide. At least I gained a Nimrod Mark II, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was nice enough to give him the Mark II variant. Still, six kills and an air kill in the old Tetrarch. I will take that. At least now with our Vicar Z's, we might be able to help the team a little bit. 
But to be fair, we're in this underpowered piece of shit, so I doubt it. At least on the Mark II, we might get WEP, I mean. Not like WEP's going to be a huge benefit, but you never know, it might actually help us. So we do have two enemy aircraft incoming. That's perfectly fine, depending on what they are, of course. They're biplanes, we're fucked, because we're up against the Russians, the Japs, the Chinese, the Italians, the Swedish, and the Germans. In other words, we are screwed. Is there anything over here I can engage? Although I doubt it. Yep, there's a tank there. I don't want to get hit. Nope, 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 nope. You're raising your gun to shoot me, you little shit. Come here. You're gonna get punished for a couple of bullets. There. Nice and careful. Don't get detected. Okay, we've been detected. Are you running stealth, really? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> funny how that vehicle never even, like, rendered its shots, it just immediately blows them out of the bloody sky. <sighs> oh, Gaijin. Don't we just love your bullshit? Right, well, looks like Light AA Mark 1 it is, because I'm not sitting in a plane, clearly. Come on. I haven't used this thing for a while, so I don't know the leading very well. Where's his mate? Because there's more than an I-15 of. There's a J and A as well. Eh, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, I've led worse. This thing is so tiny as well, like... This thing can fit in your glove box, I swear. Like, glove box of your sports car, that's how small this thing actually is. Of course I'm joking, but... This thing feels like one of those Hot Wheels cars, like... You don't take it seriously. Just because of how small and cute it is. Yeah, I don't think this team's pulling this one out of the bag, that's for definite. Oh, Jesus, the brakes. Apologies for my poor aim with this thing. I do not play this thing. Yeah, go away. There's got to be another plane in there. Oh, there you are. I thought that was the enemy then. It's not, thankfully. I mean, we need a reload anyway, so... I'm not leading too badly. I've got a couple of hits there. And there we go. Aircraft destroyed. Sweet. We're going to have to try and move up, I think. Because we're, we're going to be in a bad spot either way. So we're going to have to try and move up towards the aid point. Problem is, I don't know what's at the A point. Well, at least the skies are clear. Team seems to be doing pretty well, but we need to get this A point if we can. We don't need the A point, but it'd be nice to have it. So, this thing is just so weird to play, but it's so funny because of how small and cute it is. See if we can get to the cap in time. I don't think we will, but I need to know where that AS-42 is for a start. I'd love to have a bit of AA on AA violence. That would be logical for his location, actually, so I'm going to drop out in that general direction. Third 50s going off. I think that's ours, though. Enemy team's pretty much dead at this point. Uh, yeah, it is the AS-42 that killed me, I think. It's 
got to be somewhere over here. There. Is that him? No, nope, that's a bush. What the hell is he? There you are, you little bastard. Yeah, well. Didn't get him in time, but not, not a huge deal. Still, not a bad run across the board. I mean, other than the Nimrod, because the Nimrod sucks and... Well, when there's a AS-42 whose shots don't render, there's not really a lot that you can do about it. But still, not a bad match overall in the Tetrarch. I mean, with that annoying little cockroach in the flipping J6B, but we got to smack him with a two-pounder, so I think it's worth it. But anyway, I'm going to let guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's battle in the Tetrarch Mark 1. And, well, the next tank is the A-13 Mark 2, which I actually quite like this tank myself. I think for the better purpose of it, I'm just going to use a very similar lineup, maybe if we're under Stuart 1. But I'll, I'll make the lineup in a, well, at some point. But anyway, I'll catch you all on the next one.